My name is Dennis Fitzpatrick, and I am a supervisor of counselors for various agencies in Las Vegas, Nevada. Over the last 10 years, I have counseled court-mandated domestic violence offenders. As a result of this, I have developed a program of seven basic living skills. The first two living skills are key and avoid divorce if there are no active addictions. The remaining skills add to a life of happiness. The first living skill is about becoming a creator rather than a victim thinker who impulsively reacts. A measure of a person's skill in life is how they handle conflict. The second living skill presents the seven peaceful answers to conflict. 99% of the population is addicted to unhealthy food. 20% are addicted to smoking and 10% are addicted to drugs or alcohol. Violence is at epidemic levels to say nothing of thought addictions like whining and blaming. There are five basic genetic needs in life. Happiness in my life depends on how I meet these needs. Is it by using others? or alcohol, drugs, gambling, or work, or can I meet my own needs? There are ten self-interest reasons to forgive. One-sided forgiveness is required to find peace. Setting boundaries is also important. A relationship that does not end peacefully for me does not end at all. Brief meditations that involve accessing an alpha state enable me to calm myself and follow my higher conscience. Being of service to others after meeting my own needs brings the greatest satisfaction in life. It is easy to decide if you would benefit by learning living skills in your life by taking this 20-question self-evaluation quiz, which is in my book. Some of the questions are, When you feel impulsive about a risky behavior, are you able to choose a second or replacement thought instead? Do you avoid complaining, criticizing others, or trying to change others, and think instead how you can bring about a solution of the problem? Do you release worries as soon as they come and stay happy? because you know you will get an intuitive thought that solves the issue. When verbally attacked, criticized, or ignored, are you able to stay restrained, polite, non-defensive, and centered in peace? Are you able to avoid arguing over unimportant issues and let them bounce off you? I have a choice to use my first impulsive thought or a better second thought. My actions follow my thoughts. My actions affect my emotions and my health. For example, if my first thought is to feel sorry for myself, my emotion will not be peaceful but upset. Therefore, my health will not be relaxed but stressed. On the other hand, if I choose to be a creator, I might decide to go dancing. My emotions all of a sudden become peaceful and my health relaxed. Creators stop and consider a second thought that might be more effective than their initial victim-thinker reaction. This first living skill teaches how we have only one second at most to change our reaction. Therefore, we must have the second thought ready ahead of time to combat our major faults, such as, I can handle this in a way that helps me, or, I can handle this without blowing up, or, I can handle this without taking the first drink, or, I can handle this without eating what I know is not good for me, or, I can handle this without worrying. The second skill teaches how to handle conflict. In handling conflict, I must first determine if the issue is unimportant or important. 
80% of the time issues are unimportant. Then I make the choice of which skill to use to answer the conflict. Just the act of deciding whether the issue is important or not is enough to slow down a person from reacting thoughtlessly to a situation. Unimportant issue responses are the power of surrender, bounce it, or a non-defensive answer such as, you could be right, I'll think about it, or a non-sarcastic grunt. Hmm. Important issue responses are timeouts, fair fight negotiation one or two, or learning how to set appropriate boundaries. My book features drills and quizzes that test my ability to handle conflict appropriately. For example, I would answer the statement, I'm really upset at you and I want to talk to you right now, with a timeout and fair fight negotiation number two. I don't negotiate with my partner when they are upset, but I will address the issue when we are both calm. No drills, no skills. Many couples get along better when they learn these skills through drills. Skills avoid a situation shown in this joke. She says, I married Mr. Wright. I just didn't know his first name was always. There are five basic genetic needs in life. These are great predictors of the success or not of a relationship. Do I use the other or alcohol or drugs to meet my loving belonging needs? Or am I with the other not because I need them, but because they enhance me? What is the power balance in the relationship? Can we honor our differing freedom needs? Is there couple fun? What about survival needs such as handling money and security needs? More detailed explanations are in my book. The next living skill is about forgiveness and amends. There are ten reasons that it is in my self-interest to forgive. Forgiveness also involves the setting of appropriate boundaries. I don't have to forget to forgive. Amends need to be made in some instances. My goal is restorative justice, not punitive justice. Next is meditation. Anyone can learn to unstress and calm themselves with a few guidelines. Most addictions are triggered by the need to self-medicate stress. There are easy ways to access the alpha state without the use of drugs. Being at peace with my conscience after forgiving others and making amends can be attained by anyone through a brief, simple meditation skill explained in my book. The final skill is service. Service to others after or while taking care of my own needs is the surest road to happiness. I pay my own rent before I help others pay theirs. I present two questionnaires that measure different aspects of my emotional progress. I become more tolerant of others when I understand my partner's and my children's brain types. I become more self-fulfilled when I understand my own brain type potential. To order seven basic living skills, go to my website, dennisf.us. If you have any questions, email me at dennis at dennisf.us, and I will get back to you. Thank you.